Hello Tarnished. In the following video I'll be showing footage of an optional boss called Ancestor Spirit. If you don't want spoilers on its moveset, you can listen to the video in another tab or just look away from it. Ancestor Spirit was a beautiful surprise for me, and a genuine delight to fight. It feels like a boss that isn't actually malevolent, but rather there to test the Tarnished and see if they're worthy of something. Because of the beauty and the nature of this fight, for role-playing purposes, I decided to hunt this awe-inspiring creature using only my bow, knife, and my own blood with Bloody Slash. I felt that it being a spirit testing my worth deserved a certain reverence, and so I refrained from summoning spirits of my own and accepted its test. What this fight and a few of the others I fought earlier really reminds me of is that bosses in From games are a lot like dance partners. At first, you don't know how the dance goes, and you're clumsy on your feet. You step on each other's toes, you miss a step. In universe, this boss is your enemy, here to stop you from achieving your goals, but on a gameplay level, it's kind of technically your friend. It's here to teach you a certain thing about this game or about yourself. It's saying to you, hey buddy, I know you can figure out this dance, and I'll help you by continuing to do the steps every time until you get it. Of course, your friend here believes in you so much that it doesn't slow down or stop for you, so it's up to you to match its steps and rhythm, until you learn which actions need to be responded to with which reactions. And if you fail, that's fine. You don't need to perfectly choreograph a dance on your first try. Nobody does. The dance isn't always like clockwork either, and depending on how you move, too far or too close, your dance partner might do some different moves every once in a while. Learning what can cause those and what they look like is also important, but in the end what you have is a beautiful dance that feels exhilarating no matter what kind of character you're playing. Even this dance, albeit slow and methodical, is one full of tension and grace at times. To contrast a little against my previous video and give you a bit of a reason why you may enjoy playing a melee character when you feel more confident, I will say the dance can be most intoxicating when you stand your ground and fight an enemy head on. So if you ever meet a boss you would like to tango with face to face, feel free to get in real close and cross blades. If you don't like how that feels, or if it feels frustrating, by all means try a different approach, but if you're enjoying that process of layered discovery then keep at it, you might discover a very special experience. I think that when players of From Software games talk about the feeling of clearing a boss after having practiced it, they're actually referring to a very similar feeling that choreographers experience when they're done making a challenging creative work. As someone who's made various stealth demonstrations or gameplay showcases, as well as just recorded my voice for a few videos, I know what it feels like to mess something up many times until you get it feeling mostly right-ish. It feels amazing, and I can't blame anyone who gets addicted to that feeling. That's kind of all you need in FromSoft games too, mostly right. You don't actually have to know damage anything if you don't want to, for example. You just have to get it right enough that it lets you win. And achieving that is a beautiful feeling, any way you cut it. That's it for now. Thank you for listening. I hope you found these thoughts valuable, and may the night keep you safe.